So there's another patient I'm going to talk about, and I'm going to bring up an article because it has to do with cancer and immunotherapy. So prior to me becoming a cannabis nurse, I've been an oncology nurse. I worked at Dana-Farber, Children's Hospital, Brigham and Women's at Beth Israel in Boston, and actually did home care, mixing chemo and giving it in the home. Um, so it was very, very interesting for me, you know, to be working with patients, not only in the conventional system that didn't have access to cannabis, but now those that are actually reaching out for cancer cannabis care that are also using conventional care and mixing them together. Mm -hmm. So there has been some controversy and with, with research and studies around the use of immunotherapy with cancer, right? Mm -hmm. I'm going to pull up that article and I'll let you start talking. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you yeah. share a screen. Um, yeah. Here we go. Cancer and immunotherapy. Here we go. All right. So this so, is from Project CBD. Yeah. So Project CBD is a great source for, for all things cannabis science and medicine. Uh, and so with respect to using cancer and, and, and chemotherapy and, and just pharmaceuticals in general, right? You know, what's safe? How do we use these things concurrently? Um, and are they compatible? Because, you know, the, the overarching conversation with respect to, to, to this is, we're activating CB2 receptors uh, with cannabinoids, with THC more specifically, uh, and uh, we, we, that could be immunosuppressive, right? And when you take immunotherapies, these checkpoint inhibitors, that they're trying to inflame the immune system and they want to rev it up uh, mm -hmm. so that we can get uh, the cancers to um, uh, get back into uh, apoptosis and autophagy and, and, and digestion and, and removal, essentially. So cleaning them up and getting them to go out of there. So if we're trying to have the anti-inflammatory effects of cannabinoids, are we inhibiting the eff efficacy of, of the immunotherapy? Mm -hmm. And that's always been the question, right? Right. Because and the, the endocannabinoid system modulates the immune system, yeah. right? So the endocannabinoid mm -hmm. system naturally either dials up the immune system or dials it down. Yeah. So when we're introducing pharmaceuticals such as immunotherapy that has a targeted response, we need to make sure that we're maximizing that specific specific therapy mm -hmm. as opposed to minimizing it and not allowing it to work as well. So prior, there were some red flags from the earlier studies, right? There was worries about the incompatibility of these two treatments using cannabis with immunotherapy right? Because of that CB2 receptor activation. Yeah. And uh, when they went back and truly analyzed these studies, what they were finding is that the ones that were offered this were, were given the, them concurrently shortly before death. Um, and, and that was really the biggest outlier. So, you know, giving somebody that literally is almost dying, uh, these uh, concurrent therapies, the immunotherapy, you bring that in and use the cannabinoids, uh, it, it just was really shortchanging the system. And uh, it, 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 the high burden of disease uh, was prohibitive of, of really having a good shot at it. Right. So in other words, the bottom line is that they were tested. They did the study on patients that were dying. Yeah. So they were so sick that it didn't give them the opportunity yeah. to truly, truly utilize both therapies together. Yeah. Right. And, and all of the other studies since are finding that there's parity. There, there is no uh, uh, difference st uh, statistically in uh, the survival rate and uh, the tumor uh, shrinkage. Uh, so in, in using the therapies concurrently, we're not losing anything. Yeah. Uh, and again, uh, it goes back to monitoring. So uh, there, it's OK to be using high THC, but you, maybe keeping the dosage low. Right. Uh, and so we recommend 25, 50 milligrams uh, tops on the THC side. Yeah. Taken over, you know, various times. So yeah. And, and different dose, uh, dose times. And of course you want to space them too, right? Yeah. Don't yeah. give them at the same time. Yeah. So what I, you know, what I really like is our data suggests that the use of cannabis concomitantly with immune check inhibitor. So immunotherapy does not reduce treatment efficacy. The authors conclude with the increasing use of medical cannabis worldwide, this finding is of major clinical importance. Mm 